guys. <laughs> All I see is blessings, got no time for stressing, don't believe in failure. I look like somebody's, I don't know what. So, first of all, it's like super bright. Hey guys, if you guys are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Miracle Monique. I post Christian and lifestyle videos on my channel. And this is Vlogmas Day 13. I filmed this video already but i wanted to film it again since i'm more up and alert than i was in my last video um i filmed it on my camera here um it was not clear let's start there and also i was like really sleepy and that's not something that i want to like upload on my channel you know so i'm coming to you guys with the twisties <laughs> also today is uh actually it's actually the 14th um, but I wanted to just get this video out there and I'm gonna just go ahead and put this as vlogmas day 13. I also want to just make a disclaimer before I even start this video. Um, I believe that I'm going to be recording on my camera for just a little bit until I get a new camera. I'm most likely going to get a new camera next year if God says the same, but honestly, I'm as of right now, I think it's easier I think it's easier for me to film on my phone, especially when I am at work. First of all, if you guys have not looked at my vlogmas videos, go ahead and check those out before you check this one out. Um, I try to make my videos as long as possible, um, but my last video recently was only eight minutes. And honestly, for those few days that I was off, I did not really record anything. Um, yeah, I'll be on the go. Like, I'd literally be on a go and I'd be busy and I'd be trying to, like, you know, I, I'm not going to say trying to, but I'd be, like, maintaining me, you know what I mean? Making sure that I'm good. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, this is a video on uh, books and devotions that have helped me um, draw closer to God. Now, I want to share, uh, there's three specific books that aren't devotional, so it's just regular books but they do talk about God and it gives you a different insight on just how to change your attitude and more. we're just going to get right into it okay so the first three books that I am going to show you guys which two of them I have read and one of them I am almost done so this is the first book uh it is Feeding the Soul Feeding the Soul by Tabitha Brown. First and foremost, let's just let's just appreciate um, this beautiful black woman, okay? Like she is, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Um, but yeah, it's called Feeding the Soul. She talks about her life. She talks about God. She talks about her trials and tribulations. It's literally just a good read. Um, and it also makes you just, it makes you just trust in God even or just as you guys know, I'm a woman of God, but anyway, it makes you just trust in God even more, especially hearing other people's trials and tribulations of what they had to, what they had to go through before getting to where they are now. And so that's just like, it's like a different side of the spectrum. And it's just like, it's something that you could relate to, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so get this book. It's honestly a 10 out of 10. So the next book, this is one book that I am not done with. I'm actually almost done. I have like a little bit left. Um, but I've been having this book for so long, y'all. And it's just been sitting on my shelf, honestly. But this book is super good. It's The Power of Your Attitude. Y'all, this book genuinely helps me so much because it makes you shift your perspective. And it makes you shift your attitude. And especially, it makes you shift like... It makes you more aware and more intentional that you dictate how your day is going to go. You know what I mean? And for me, biblically, like, yes, I dictate how my day is going to go. But I want God in, in in the presence of it all. You know what I mean? I want God in the midst of my day. Um, so, yeah. So, this book is really, really good. So, I highly recommend it. I would definitely say it's a 9 out of 10 as well. I just wish that it had more of God but honestly like it's it's really good so this last book i'm gonna be completely honest i did not know who this lady was until i read her book and then it's funny because i was watching tv the other day i do not look at tv literally like regular tv um 
I barely look at Netflix. Like, I barely just sit and actually have time to look, like, look at the TV screen. Um, but she was, like, um, she was uh, speaking motivation, I guess. Sheila Wash, okay? This book is It's Okay Not to Be Okay. And, y'all, I finished this whole book. It's amazing. She talks about God. She talks about trusting in God. She talks about knowing that you are enough. She talks about how it's okay to not be okay and to allow God to like lead you and guide you. Y'all, this book is really, really good. I'm pretty sure you could get all these books at Barnes and Nobles. Um, you could try Target, but I will hit up Barnes and Nobles and or Amazon. So this book is really good as well. This is one of a biblical book as well um so yeah now we are gonna go into the devotions so this is the first devotion this is find rest a woman's devotional for lasting peace in a busy life even if you don't have a busy life honey literally whether you don't have it or not get this um so basically i'm gonna just open up one really quick so it gives you a scripture right every time you open this read the scripture it's very important and then it gives you like a little story and it also be saying some good stuff. So I be highlighting it. I literally just highlight it. And then in the back of that, it gives you space to reflect and it always tells you something. It's either a quote, it's either a phrase or a saying and or mainly it's questions so that you can reflect down. So I highly recommend that as well. Uh, this one is be still and know so basically like if I open up a page it'll give you like a day and then it'll give you a scripture devotions usually always give you a scripture before giving you a passage but this one is um these are just passages and then I know sometimes they're literally just passages like more I'm not gonna say motivation but more like biblical perspective on you know just yeah like it's, it's just really good so get it this one this is more of a prayer so this is uh 365 days of prayer for depression and anxiety keep in mind if you do not have depression and or anxiety still get this devotionals are super good but just know that when you are tapping and tapping into reading devotions make sure you are not putting the devotions before the word of god okay so this is basically like you open it it gives you a scripture and then it gives you a prayer and it's really really good um so yeah this is a devotion that i have not been into a lot at all but i actually need to start so this is all things beautiful 365 devo devotions for women um again it gives you the same thing it gives you a scripture it gives you a passage and then this one gives you a prayer uh as well so it gives you all three in one into study study like uh study series right this is 40 days through the bible <coughs> excuse me y'all i'm actually almost done with this one i'm literally towards the end yeah i'm on week six day three so i literally have this much and i have did all this um, y'all, this is really, really good. Um, it literally gives you, it's literally just so in detail on the word. It gives you different scriptures and all that stuff. Let me actually show you guys right now. It gives you today's reading. It gives you a scripture. It gives you questions. It gives you passages. You can underline. Um, it gives you so much stuff. It literally have pages like this. Um, and yeah, the, even you girl, you and, and, or men, you got the commands in here that they tell you to write down. I be, I'm super big on note taking and I'm super big on prayers there as well. It gives you a section to where you can like read a prayer and then it gives you space to like write a prayer. So the next ones are actual Bibles. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this is my first Bible. Well, this is not my first Bible, but this is one of my Bibles. This is uh, the New International Version Bible. I'm not going to get into it, but I'll be in it. Make sure that you guys are actually reading your Bible every day. Let me tell you, if you are wanting to gain a personal relationship with God, 
read your Bible. If you are wanting to communicate with God, you can. there's different types of communication with God. You can worship through songs and through prayers, and you can read your Bible as well. But I definitely recommend to not only just pray, um, not only to be obedient. Obedience is key, and you're being obedient by reading the Word of God. Um, if you are dealing with anxiety, depression, loss, brokenness, you know, feeling busted and disgusted, literally, like, this will help you. Even if you are feeling joyful, happy, this is literally will help you. This is the life. Uh, this is the bread of life, okay, y'all? Um, and it just tells you how to live holy, and it, it gives you instructions on how to live, and, you know, clothing yourself with dignity, and, you know, that applies for women and men. Um, I can't just, I can't, I, I can't stress it enough, you know, just read your Bible. Aside from Bibles, I do note taking a lot. Um, I literally note take, let me actually, I note take and highlight a lot. And this is literally a new journal, literally. And you guys, I've been in the word of God I've been doing what I need to do. I've been looking at sermons. I've been doing Bible study on Zoom, Bible study by myself. I literally, this is a daily thing for me. And I be in it. Literally. I literally be in it. Like, I even have a list of what God has done for me and all that. And yeah, y'all, I be in this. So, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, when not only the holy spirit is dwelling in me so that i can get understanding i write everything down so that way i can you know be in deep study and i can understand just note taking is very important and i feel like everybody should do it so that's one of my bibles i have another bible in the car and that's the new living translation and then i have my one of my big girl bibles uh this is a christian standard bible let me show you guys when i say i be in the word and also i use i literally use all these bibles i kid you not these aren't just to look pretty these are actual notes and highlights and literally all that stuff bible which was a gift which is actually the same one as that one so i don't be in that one too much because it's literally the same exact one as that one and that was a gift and i be in it here and there but i don't be in it like i am with these two and my other one that's in the car also want to show you guys this bible um this is a new believers bible i got this literally like five years ago uh this is actually where i attended harvest in orange county and i got saved there you guys if you guys did not know i am a christian i've been a christian all my life but i actually started taking God serious and gaining I like I literally felt God for the very first time almost six years ago and God has been just moving and so good this Bible literally I'm pretty sure he you can get it like you can order it on Amazon um but it literally literally gives you like a deep study it gives you a it gives you like first steps. It gives you questions. It gives you like different other scriptures that connect different passages. It's awesome. Okay. So this is the Passion Translation. I literally just got this um, like a couple of days ago. This is the book of Ephesians. I'm definitely gonna go back to Barnes and Nobles and get different uh, scriptures, um, but the same, you know, uh, author book and everything. Um, but y'all, when I say this stuff is good, it's so good it's getting me in a deeper study i love it um this one i've been having for like a year and some change or like probably a little less than a year but this is a 31 prayers book for my future husband um i've been having it a while for a while as you guys can see it's pretty like dingy um and i actually started over so it gives you an introduction um and then when you actually go inside, it gives you a scripture. Make sure that you always read the scripture. And then it gives you a prayer. And then it gives you space, space to actually pray. And then this is the part that I started all over. Um, I'm even like writing love letters in here. Um, like I said, I started over in this book. So it's just a lot of space. But this is, th y'all, this is such a, like a cute book. And I also, I feel like it's a 
God fulfill moving book. Like it's not just for my husband because I get blessed writing prayers. I get blessed reading the prayers. You know, when I think about, you know, I don't, and the thing, I'll make a separate video. I don't idolize marriage, but I definitely want marriage one day, but I definitely do pray for my future spouse. And I feel like that's so important. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not pressed that subscribe button, go ahead and press that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you guys can get notified whenever I drop a video. And I'm still going to be doing Vlogmas, so stay tuned for those. And I love you guys. God loves you. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.